Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing a very much requested full face drugstore. Why am I doing this? Full face drugstore look for y'all. Everything I'm using is drugstore. Not one single thing is high end. This is gonna be like a drugstore slash first impression video because pretty much everything that I'm looking at over here is gonna be tried for the very first time with you guys. So bear with me because I have to learn how to work with these formulas on camera with you. So it takes me a little bit to kind of figure out how they move and blend and work best. So it's good. This stuff is good. I hope you really like it. So y'all wanna do the dang thing? Y'all wanna see how to do this? Let's do it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna apply foundation. And what I used is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in shade 75 Natural Beige. As you can see, it's a little bit dark for me right now, but I bought it when I had a tan, and so I'm just gonna work to blend it all together. I'm using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which is my very first time ever using it. And so far, I really love it. Um, as you can also see, I'm having some very hormonal breakouts that are extremely unfortunate while filming this video, but hey, Ladies, you know, time of the month. It is what it so is. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I think my beauty blender or my Real Techniques blender <laughs> was too wet still. I think I needed to not make it so wet. I don't know, I probably should have practiced that. So sorry. But everyone, no, I shouldn't say everyone. I've heard a lot of good things. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit more on because I think it was too wet because you can see it stuck to the sponge. So I'm going to try this side. Let's see what happens when I try it. Ooh, I think I like this side better. I feel like it pats the product in there. So this is a really good alternative if you don't want to spend the money on a beauty blender. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers use a sponge. Okay, like it. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply this concealer. I literally just bought this a few, like an hour ago, so I have no idea if it's any good. I don't even know if the shade is good on me, but I wanna go ahead and do it to prime my eyes. I got the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in the shade Ivory 330. It's supposed to be full coverage. We'll see. Okay, so I like the sponge. It has a really big um, applicator. It kind of looks a lot like the Tarte Shape Tape as far as the size, the applicator. In fact, I'm gonna go get that to show you guys. So I went and grabbed my Tarte Shape Tape. This is it. And then here's the L'Oreal. Very similar in how they look. And then as far as the applicators, so similar. Okay. Look here. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Oh my goodness, maybe I found a dupe for you guys. I hope, I hope the form formula is similar. Okay, look. All right, L'Oreal Shape Tape. So similar in the way they look in that way. Feels thick, like this shape tape. And then, let's see how it blends out. Oh, I think I may have got way too much. This stuff is thick, but so is the shape tape. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to blend this puppy out big time. It is similar to the shape tape in that you have to kind of figure out how to work with it because that is exactly how shape tape is. It's so thick, you have to figure out how to blend it and how much product you need. So it does remind me a lot of shape tape in that way. I hope this is a dupe for shape tape. I hope I like it. We'll see how it wears through the day. the shade it's really bright and that's what I like for my concealer <laughs> Whew! I need some muscles for this blending dang Seriously, my arm hurts. <laughs> oh, so not only will you get pretty makeup, you will get a workout. It's a two-in-one. So let's do like a little bit down my nose. Okay, let me look in my mirror. I didn't buy anything new for this because I know I love it. I didn't want to. The NYX HD finishing powder. I'm gonna set my under eye in all the spots. I just put my concealer. This is an e.l.f. small tapered brush. Can you see that? Okay. And I'm gonna kind of bake, if you will, because I haven't even done my eyeshadow. And so I don't know what the fallout stitch is gonna be like. So I'm just gonna apply a bunch of this on there and then I'll tap it off later. I'm putting this on my eyelids just because I'm not gonna use an eyeshadow primer in this video. Okay, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I bought the NYX Micro Pencil in shade Taupe. Never tried this either, another first impression. <laughs> okay, so it's a pencil that you roll up right here and then it has a spoolie on the other end. So I love that. I haven't used a pencil on my brows in a while, hot minute. So let's see if I still know how to do it. <whistles> Lunch time. The color's really nice, as far as for me. Looks good, it's a good match.
practice with the pencil again, but I like it. Okay. I'm really excited about this one. Ready? The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Ah! Seriously? Um, okay, you might be thinking this is supposed to be a drugstore video and Ulta to me can be a drugstore too. Now, I went ahead and bought this one because to me it was the best bang for my buck. They have smaller options for you and something I'm learning about drugstore is that a lot of things really aren't that much cheaper. For example, so this palette, which I'm about to open it up, has 35 eyeshadows. It was $38. I've heard the quality on this is great, so to me it's worth it. I don't really hear a lot about drugstore eyeshadows, to be honest with you. I just don't really hear about, oh, try out this really great drugstore eyeshadow. So I've, I have heard great things about it. Oh, people keep texting me. I'm like needed or something. So it was worth it to me to buy something that I felt like is still drugstore, something that will be worth your money as well. Um, and I mean, a dollar an eyeshadow, you really can't get cheaper than that and something that's considered good quality. So are you ready for this? In all of her glory. I'm so excited. Look, oh my goodness. I feel like you can do so many looks with this. It's got a bunch of cool tone. It's got a bunch of warm tone. It's got mattes. It's got shimmer. Um, there's even some funky colors down here. Like this will give you so many options. So for $38, 35 eyeshadows, I totally feel like it's a win. But let, let's try it out together and let's see if it really is a win, okay? What should I do? Like, of course I want to use the colors that I always gravitate towards which are you know like the oranges and the um reddish browns but i feel like i should maybe do something different for y'all to give a different look let's do mm, what should i do let's do like purples or something Okay, I'm gonna do like rip purplish or something like that. Okay, so these are not, I'm not using drugstore eyeshadow brushes. I didn't get any drugstore brushes besides that um, Real Techniques sponge. So I'm using the same brushes I always use when I do my eyeshadows. Let's see, I'm gonna grab this first color. I don't, I think it's in, I don't know. I don't know, this one right here. It's like this. White shimmery color. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to go all over my lid like I always do. I feel like the pigment is good because that is very shimmery. Wonder if the other one's more matte. Let's see. Mm, I think I would have liked that one better. I'm gonna actually go in with this one right here because it's not as shimmery. Go back over what I just did. And I just do that to neutralize my lids. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, let's see. Mm, I'm gonna take this one right here, just to put my crease. Let's see.
next, let's see. I'm gonna do, hmm, I'm gonna do this burgundy color right here. It's the third one. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in my crease as well. But this time I'm using, that's pretty, I like that. I'm just using my MAC 217 brush. I'm just going in with in my crease again. Okay, so now I want to try something I just swatched. I think I'm going to try this color right here. It's like a deep burgundy with a little bit of shimmer. So this last one right here. I'm just going to dip a little bit into my brush. And just do a little bit right here. Just to kind of blend all these colors together. Okay, now I'm going to try on the lid. I think I want to try this pink color. Uh, this one right here, this pink color. Let's see what that one looks like. I do wish that palette had a mirror on it. Just saying. Do I like this? Just tapping it on my lid. Now I will say I don't feel like these um, blend or have as much pigment as my MAC eyeshadows, but still really really good for a drugstore option and like I said earlier you can't beat a dollar a shadow seriously okay oh, I feel like I need to deepen this crease a little bit more it doesn't look as dark as the other one so I'm gonna go back in with that first reddish shade that I used just put it right back in the crease We'll start with that. Okay, I'm gonna go put on my eyeliner. I didn't get a different eyeliner because I love this one, so I wanted to continue to recommend this to y'all. It's the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny in black, I think. It's the blackest one, I think the shade. Defining black, love it. This is what I would recommend to you guys. So when I went into my bathroom to put on my eyeliner, I took a look at my face. It's hard to tell when I have a bright ring light staring straight in my face what everything is looking like what things what's happening right here and y'all the shadows looked really good they looked much better when i went in there than what i'm seeing here so very pleased so far um okay next things next <laughs> okay i'm gonna try this is another first impression the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in fair claire zero five a loose powder so if you don't like that you won't like this but I'm gonna tap I'm gonna just tap a little bit into the lid like I don't know if you can see but and then I'm gonna take my powder brush I feel like it had a smell and it smelled good I don't know what I'm smelling, but it smells good. Wow. I'm actually impressed. 
with this. I'm gonna do a little more on the forehead. Okay, I'm impressed with that powder. My first impression is that I'm impressed with this powder. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm just reading the back and it just says it's loose finishing powder. Mineral-based formula helps control shine and smooth skin's texture. Lightweight, translucent coverage, fresh natural look can be used alone or over foundation. Yeah. Okay. That is a win in the first impression category. Okay, so I just put on a coat of mascara and I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. I was gonna wait and do another coat and all that, but I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so now I'm gonna do bronzer. Another first impression. Most of this stuff I've never tried before. The only thing I had tried before getting on here today was the NYX setting powder under my eye and the eyeliner and mascara that's it all this is new okay so for bronzer i'm gonna try in front of you guys for the first time hope it's good the physician's formula butter bronzer i've heard really great things about it i got the shade deep bronzer kind of had a smell this is the color it looks like it'll be pretty let's see have other swatches on my hand from Ulta. This is it right here. I don't know if it's picking up. It comes with a little, it flips open like this and it comes with a little sponge right here. I'm not gonna use that, but it's good to have. Okay, so I'm gonna use, let's see. Nervy doing this for the first time in front of y'all. What if it's not good? It's gonna be good. Everything has been good so far. Everything I've tried has been really, really good. Even the concealer is good. Okay. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. a little bit around my hairline see how adding bronzer just adds warmth to your face like you need to be adding a little bit of bronzer otherwise you just look all one color I like that a lot I'm just blending. I'm not in love with this bronzer brush, so I'm not even going to show it to you. Okay, I'm going to just put a little bit on the sides of my nose. I'm not doing like a contour thing. And then I'm just going to put a little bit down my neck. I like that. Okay, bronzer winner. We have found some winners today, you guys. I mean, this is the Milani Baked Powder Blush, and I got Berry more because I thought it was so beautiful. I love, it's like pink. It's like pink with gold. Look at that. That is so pretty. I don't care who you are. It's so pretty. Wow, love it. Pink and gold. That's got my name written all over it. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna swatch it. Ooh. I know this is not gonna pick up for y'all to see. Let's just put it on. Okay. This again comes with a little applicator down here. 
so it'd be good for on the go, you know, if you want to throw it in your purse. Oh, and it has a mirror. That's nice. So it just flips up like that, and you got your mirror and your compact. I like that. Let's see if I like if it's as pretty as I feel like it is. Oh, yeah. Y'all, that's pretty. This will be really pretty for spring and summer. Kind of has a little glow, but it's not, it's like a glow and a highlight, but it's not too shimmery. Can y'all see? I hope it's picking up. Already, you see how it kind of gives a little highlight look there too. I'm not sure how these colors are gonna go on. That's why I keep going back in because I'm starting with a small amount and building up since I've never tried these before. All right, I'm gonna go do another coat of mascara and I'll be right back. Yeah. I have been really into like smoking my lower lash line especially when I'm doing colors like purples and not just my normal everyday color. And since I did more purpley pinks, we're gonna smoke out our under eye. So let's see, what should we do with it? Um, I'm gonna take this burgundy color again, this one right here. And I'm gonna use my Mac, I don't know, it's rubbed off, but it's a flat. Can you see that? I'm just gonna lightly dip it in because I don't want it to be too dark. And I'm just gonna go really close right here. Cause again, I don't wanna, I haven't used these before. So until today, I gotta see, oh, that's pretty. So you want to be careful when you're putting dark on your under eye. It can get harsh real quick. And that actually does have a lot of pigment. Can y'all see that? Okay, so now I'm just gonna smoke it out a little bit. Which this brush is kind of hard to smoke it out because it's so like dense, like it's very firm, it doesn't have a lot of give. So what I could do is I could take my Mac 242. It's got a little bit more give. Wipe it off. Cause I've got all those other colors on there and I don't want that. And then I can just, oh, that's so pretty. You guys, I'm loving it more and more. First impressions are hard. Especially when it comes to makeup because you just if you've never worked with it you don't know the color payoff but I'm loving the eyeshadow you know I wasn't sure at first I'm loving it and I didn't put on an eyeshadow primer which normally you'll know that I do okay so I just smoked out with the um, that deep burgundy color and now I'm gonna take that that pretty pink color again right here and we're gonna do it the same thing with that. But I'm gonna do more towards the inner corner. This is usually what I do when I'm doing any kind of smoky eye, just different colors. I do the darker color about out halfway and then it gets lighter here and then I go in with my lighter shade. And then I'm gonna take this one again and just kind of blend those together. I could even make it more smoky, but I'm not going to. Okay, now I'm gonna go put on my last little bit of mascara and put it on the bottom and I'll be right back. Sorry. Snack break. Right, so let me just tell y'all, that 
I may have replaced my holy grail for like 15 years, drugstore mascara. I may have done it with this one, y'all. It's so good. Okay, you ready? Oh, you can't even see it. Ugh, very anticlimactic. Okay, it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in Waterproof. Because y'all know I have to get waterproof because my eyelashes will not curl without it. Especially if I don't do it on the first layer. So and top it all off with some lips. Now, I have not tried this on my lips. I swatched it in Ulta. I love the color. It is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick in shade ultimate orchid <laughs> y'all know if you know me at all i gravitate towards like the mauvey purpley tones and this one looked really pretty on my hand so let's try it out together shall we okay let's see mm -hmm. it's not thick It kind of feels more like a lip gloss than a really thick. Pretty, I love the color. We'll have to see how long it lasts. I'm gonna put a little more on. It doesn't feel drying at all. I'm very, very happy with the look and how it turned out. I have other drugstore products that I like that I didn't recommend in this video because I wanted to try new stuff. So pretty much everything I shared with you today was brand new um, to me and to this channel. I never showed it before or used it myself. So I think it's, everything turned out very pretty. What do y'all think? Okay, this is starting to get more um, tacky, if you will. I feel like it's drying more. Maybe it just takes a little bit longer to dry than my other liquid lipsticks. Like my favorite one is Kat Von D. Maybe it's just taking a little bit longer to dry. So you could always top it off with a lip gloss. I didn't bring a drugstore lip gloss over here. I do have this one sitting here. It's like a hundred year old Mary Kay one. <laughs> I actually really like it. It's like in a gold tube. So sorry, this is the only thing that's not drugstore. But you could use anything just to make it a little bit um, not so sticky. I'm like scraping the end. Scraping the tube. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, everything was drugstore, which is what a lot of you asked for. There isn't really one thing that I can say right this second that I don't love. I would recommend everything that I showed you guys. Everything that I'm trying was reviewed, specifically picked out for this video. I don't wanna show you anything that I wouldn't wear myself, so. All of these things I would buy myself, I would spend my own money, I did spend my own money, and I would Thank recommend. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching. This was super fun for me, I love doing it. So if y'all wanna see more of this kind of stuff, let me know, like first impressions. I could do a first impression of a brand. Um, like there's so many options. We have so many options. We have no limits here, okay? I mean, kind of my bank account has some limits, but besides that, like, this was really, really fun. So, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. So, yeah. Bye, you guys. Have a great day.